It's been an active morning for any of us and unfortunately there's still another wave of some rain and storms on the way as Dave just kind of touched on. So live look at radar right now. Southern Illinois starting to see some of that uh, even hearing thunder outside of the studio right now. Pretty strong line of storm setting up just west of SEMO right along the border here and there is even some more thunder. But here's what we're kind of keeping an eye on. There's a system just near uh, Butler County near Poplar Bluff. We've also got a warning just two hours south near Pocahontas as well. So uh, still keeping an eye on things. The good news is we don't have any active warnings right now, but still seeing some activity. A lot of lightning returns, some really heavy rain with this as well. We did have a tornado watch this morning. It's been updated and extended now uh, all the way to our eastern counties as well, and that's going to be valid until today and 4 p.m. along with the wind advisory as well. So we're tracking some pretty heavy rain, some lightning right now, also some windy conditions, and that's just going to be staying with us. Severe storm threat from the Storm Prediction Center has most of our region at a three out of five, so that's an enhanced to risk. We're still keeping an eye on, uh, of course, that heavy rain from radar, but as far as this goes, the strong winds and the possibility of another brief tornado or two. So really got to continue to be weather aware today. Poplar Bluff live look right now. All of this is just heavy rain as it's falling, even seeing some of that from the wind. Temperature is still very warm. We're somewhere in the 70s, seeing overcast skies if you aren't currently seeing rain, but a lot of us seeing some of those showers. Today, threat tracker is high. Storm, strong storms are still possible. We finally got some quiet time to end the work week Thursday and Friday. It's going to be cooler and cloudy. Then by this weekend, it should be really nice just in time for any of your holiday plans. But before then, we've got to get through this cold front. That cold front is beginning to approach the region. Ahead of that, we're seeing some pretty strong storms set up. Temperature is also still very warm. Even then, right behind the cold front, we're still somewhere in those 70s. A uh, strong line of storm, still heavy rain setting up with that even behind there. Here's 4 o'clock. We're seeing it across parts of southern Illinois, down towards western Kentucky, even into the boot hill. By 6 o'clock, it finally begins to exit the region and then by nine we're just left with a couple of those isolated to scattered showers. High pressure quickly takes over. We begin to clear just in time for our Thursday morning, but we're also our wind direction is changing, so a bit cooler to start our day tomorrow. Definitely a shock to the system compared to those mid 70s that we're seeing right now. Really important to have the Storm Track 3 app. I know mine has been going off all day. It's got great updates for whatever you need in the next couple of hours. Probably won't be using it much this weekend. We have much calmer and nicer conditions on the way as we're in the 60s and 70s. But really got to be important, or it is important today, I should say, to be weather aware. Luckily, after we get through this system, much drier conditions are also on the other side of this. Uh, into our 7 and 10 day, though, temperatures are staying pretty warm, at least as far as today goes. We see that cool off tomorrow, see the cold front coming through. Of course, those strong storms still possible today. By Friday, we're warming back up into the 60s, closer to average, and then into the weekend, even warmer as we return back into the 70s. And finally, some quiet time. I know we're really in need for that quiet forecast. Oh, absolutely. But today, stay weather aware. Very much. All right, thanks, Katie.